Hey, it's Len Davis with Pangeality Productions, and we're up here on Whidbey Island at the Whidbey Institute's 40th anniversary celebration. Um, it's a, the commitment to the great work over the long haul here at the Whidbey Institute. And I'm here with Drew Dellinger, who's uh, about to deliver one of the keynote addresses, and I pulled him out here to share a poem with us. Drew. Nice to meet you. Good to be here. Great to be here, Len. You got a piece that you'd like to share for a moment here? Sure. This poem is called Revision. Open your eyes. See visions. Imagine a melody infinitely. Listen. A planet of stories with islands of silence. Her curved surface radiates grace. Milky Way blazing in the sky above the city. Speaking in fractals, the stars are telepathic. Wake the poets, wake the dreamers, cultivate the tendrils in the vineyard of your heart, reorient our buildings to the solstice, and from the center of the city, see the stars. All right. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about the organization that you founded? Sure, I founded a, a project called Planetize the Movement, and with the idea being that we need to build a movement that connects ecology, social justice, and cosmology. Cosmology is about the story that a culture tells itself about how the world came to be and how we fit into it. You know, in our modern society, we've been operating out of a cosmology or a story that says the earth is here to be used by humans, and we need to re-integrate um, our civilization into a sacred cosmology, a sacred story that recognizes the inherent uh, sacredness of the earth and the fact that we are connected to the earth and the cosmos. So the power of cosmology, the power of story, the power of worldview, I see as integral to building a movement that connects ecology and social justice and creates the kind of world that we want for our future and for our children. Nice, so how does Planetize the Movement actually go about doing that work? Well, we talk about using the power of story, the power of dream, the power of art, and the power of action. So we need to tell new stories that connect us to each other and connect us to the planet. We need to dream these stories into being from our deepest impulses, and we need to share these stories through the power of art. But ultimately, we have to take action. We have to take real collective and individual action for social justice, for equality, for respect, for the planet as a whole. So by combining the power of story, the power of dream, the power of art, and the power of action, we think those are important ways to build this movement. Nice. How do people who are interested in learning more about uh, Planetize the Movement find you and ways to get involved? You bet. We can uh, look at our website, which is planetizethemovement.org. You can also look at drewdellinger.org. It's the same website. It goes to the same place. So people can contact me through planetizethemovement.org or drewdellinger.org. And I also travel around a lot and give presentations to different groups and school groups and such. So I'm nice. always eager to spread the word and connect with people however I can. Nice. And tell me a little bit about what we're doing here and what your uh, presentation today is all about. Well, here we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Whidbey Institute, which is a learning center that's been dedicated to the type of vision that I've been describing. One of the great mentors of the Whidbey Institute is Thomas Berry, who was a cosmological writer and an ecological thinker. And Thomas Berry was my teacher for 20 years, so it's a, it's a, a great honor to be here in uh, Thomas Berry Hall celebrating the vision of Whidbey Institute and the, the kind of world that Thomas Berry was encouraging us to work for. Nice. Sweet. So once again, it's Len Davis here with Pangeality Productions. We're at the Whidbey Institute on Whidbey Island in the northwest corner of Washington State, really close to the Canadian border. And I'm with Drew Dellinger, who's about to give a presentation, a keynote speech, and uh, speak some of his work here at the conference, which has just been an amazing weekend of beautiful events. So Drew, thanks so much for sharing with me, man. Thank you, Len. Cool. Great to be with you. Peace, brother. Peace.